seven and a half minutes. Alston off the shot fake, got undercut and finished nonetheless. He's going to the line. Mezzarique down low, got the mismatch against Alston, was able to finish. Turnover led to good offense for the Rattlers. Reeves has six points, more than half of Florida a and m scoring. More wide open, he knows what to do with it right there. 23 to 11 in favor of Georgia Tech. Melton able to get around Banks and finish. As a freshman, it'll take 10 or 11 games to, to figure out the speed of play at the Division I level. Here's DeVoe. Ravenel off the screen. Randolph met up with James Banks. Both of them are, are not giving an inch. Evan Cole, you saw get the touch right there. His return significant. He's missed the last five games dating back to 14 turnovers so far for Florida AM. Banks off the give and go. Found the cutter. Again, as we move further into the second half, those 15 points look more and more impressive from a defensive standpoint for Georgia Tech. There's another big play on defense as Muzareke had it blocked. Another Florida A&M turnover, their 17th. Nice touch pass by Alvarado. Alston able to muscle it in. Tech extending that defense. Ravenel extended his shooting range right there and finally knocks one in. Banks pinned it on the glass on Randolph. It gives Georgia Tech kind of that, that big man, that anchor in the post because without him before the inevitability, as FAMU is, is playing equal with Georgia Tech in the second half. Georgia Tech, uh, 15 points, FAMU 14. Willing to recover it, simply outnumbered that time. Poor on the break by Melton, swatted out of there by Moore. How much film do they watch? How much time on the court? So, Coach Pass will have a chance to figure that out here the next eight days on the flats in Atlanta.